7.18 now. Uh, we are going to check in with Kevin Coffey, who is the mayor of the city of Eureka. Kevin, thanks for joining us on a busy morning. Thank you. We're starting to hear that the water is re re receding. Is that still the, still the story out there? That's still the case, but we're uh, looking at a second crest on uh, Saturday night, uh -huh. Sunday morning. And uh, that crest is now predicted to be 39 feet. We hit trouble at about 72. I mean, uh, 42. Gotcha. And uh, at 42, uh, last uh, we get water in some of our lower businesses, and we have some additional roads closed. So instead of doing a full cleanup uh, now, we are going to go in a holding pattern, and uh, we're going to... Uh, wait and see. We're going to do a conference call with the National Weather Service. We're going to leave our sandbag walls up until we determine that the crest will remain below 42. Uh, last time is uh, over a few days. It, it raised up to 46 from 39. So we're going to do uh, be very cautious here with the uh, additional rain we're having today. And we're going to hold off on removal, but there's still going to be quite a few businesses open in Old Town starting today on the upper upper sections of Old Town. Uh, Cinco de Mayo will be going on. Uh, several restaurants will be open. And uh, El Nepal and Michelle's. And, and uh, so we invite everyone to come down and, uh, and enjoy this evening and, and tomorrow and uh, this weekend. Anyone who's been to Eureka knows what a great little downtown it is. I say little quaint, uh, picturesque. Nice little hamlet there on the Merrimack. How's the uh, how's the spirit of the town after the last couple of days? Oh, it's great. We were uh, with without the, everyone turning out. These businesses would have suffered millions of dollars of losses, and we managed to save most of Old Town. Any place that had a pump and the sandbag wall was saved with very minimal damage, and it. Uh, you know, one more hit like we had before would have been business ending, ending potentially for some of these people. And great thanks to all the residents and volunteers and the, the spirit of Eureka and the whole region in helping us out. Uh, we beat it. We we beat it this time, and we couldn't have done it without them. Yeah. Uh, great town. Uh, great town. Kevin, how, uh, how often does this happen in Eureka? Did it happen back in 2015 in December during that rain? How often are these things happening? Well, 2015 was the highest recorded flood in history here by about four feet. And uh, this beat it, uh, not by much, by about an inch. But these are two floods of a lifetime. Uh, in, I mean, it, they beat over 100 years of recordation. And uh, we don't, uh, you know, it's, it's, we never expected this to happen again a year and a half later. So you're saying that, that this in Eureka is worse than that December 2015 flood? Yes, the current mm. measurements from the Weather Service put in, put in about a one inch, one inch higher than the worst flood ever, and that was 2015. Hmm. So um, from 2015, it seems like though, because you had so much, so many people volunteering with the, the sand walls, I guess it's something from what you learned from 2015 that so many businesses were able to be saved this year? Yes, it's uh, lessons we learned, plus we had three days to prepare. Mm -hmm. In 2015, they gave us about 24-hour notice of a, uh, a four-foot rise in the crest. And this time we had, uh, we had three days' notice of the, that the level of water would be in our business area. Those, uh, those extra days made a huge difference. Uh, we were able to mobilize, uh, call in sand and pumps, and uh, work with St. Louis County and the state of Missouri. Uh, to get things going, and uh, having three days instead of one uh, made the difference. Eureka, the town of Eureka, just south of 44 on 109. Uh, that is Kevin Coffey. Kevin, we'll let you get back to work. Uh, Godspeed. You're in our prayers as you try and deal with this second crest. Thanks for checking in. Okay. We do appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Kevin Coffey with us, mayor of the city of uh, Eureka. Mm. Uh, beautiful land down there, just yes. gorgeous. And it's booming like you wouldn't believe out there. They're building houses all over the place down mm -hmm. there. And that Eureka is such a nice, quaint little, kind of like Cottleville, sort of that sort of mm -hmm. quaint little, little downtown area that's sort of 
But you like to see that uh, the Cinco de Mayo celebrations are in full swing. I know. <laughs> hey, they need a little something to be able to take they, their mind off of everything They need a little something, else. something. So if you're planning on having a little Cinco de Mayo celebration. <laughs> you can go to Eureka. You can, if you can get to a, a Eureka, <laughs> the restaurants are open. Uh, all right, uh, seven, uh, 723, Big 550 KTRS. All right, Kelly Jackson, this story uh, is, I, I can't get enough of this story. So this weekend, um, uh, France is voting on their 